you are listening to Journaling with PT, and I am your host, artist PT Russell. Wow, it's been a year, almost a year of of journaling with PT, of podcasting. I'm winding down to that first year mark, very celebratory right now because I'm coming to the end of something that is, to me, an achievement. Something I didn't anticipate. Something wonderful. And you were on the journey with me. Now, for those of you who have never listened to this podcast before, welcome, welcome, welcome. And you can start from entry number one and work your way up. And in doing so, you will learn that I didn't always have guests on. I started exclusively to share journal entries, things that I've experienced. Uh, There were a few about my personal experiences, just experimentation, more expressionistic in my, yeah, in my contribution. So it's, if that's anything you're interested in, you can start at entry number one uh, with morning chatter, It was just a morning rambling. I was at breakfast and I just rambled on (laughs) and recorded. Uh, It was during a time of catharsis, so it, uh, it, that's what it, it, it was. And I, I shared it. There were a few others after that. And then I thought to have guests on. I had a few friends who were artists. I reached out to them. And they obliged and they said yes. They wanted to be a part of it and they wanted to support me and share their journeys. And then it went from there. So the first guest was Evan Folk of Moose Motion Studios, stop motion artist and extremely gifted voice talent as well. He was my first guest. We had a good time. After him was filmmaker, director, writer, mentor, and friend, Mr. Sam Borowski. A wonderful voice in the industry. And I've, I've been learning so much from him. He is um, a beautiful person with a beautiful spirit. Hard-nosed, no nonsense. Okay, so don't think you're going to railroad him. You won't. Uh, I've learned a lot about his extensive filmography and yeah, so much to learn from him there's so much and he will be uh, joining me again next season for uh, a series uh, very informative series on film yeah so there were there were many many uh, different artists from different disciplines from visual art, literary art, performative art. Uh, I haven't had any dancers yet. So if you know any dancers, hey, send them my way, okay? Ballet, uh, break dancing, whatever, tap dancing. I'm all for it. I'm just very grateful. I'm just very grateful to everyone who's been there. My mother, who has, you know, been a little voice in my ear along the way. I'll do this, do that. Uh, let's coming along, coming along. <laughs> so shout out to mommy for always being there. And yes, so this is not the end of anything. This is the end of a season, but to me, it's the beginning, the foundation, like my aunt Jen says, the foundation for something beautiful. I truly believe it is uh, something beautiful because I've had the wonderful opportunity to meet so many beautiful, gifted artists from all walks of life. And I continue to learn so much from them. I'm genuinely interested and curious about their processes, about their journeys, about their lives, outside of their art, outside of what they love. I mean, there are many things that they love to do beside the thing that they're known for, but it's, it's just, it is amazing to learn these things. So I have had a, a, I've had a great time. 
I have had a great time learning and growing. And so a few, I see a few entries of note. Uh, wrestler Corey Castle, uh, he came on. Mr. Daniel Roebuck, actor with one of the most prolific filmographies I've ever seen in my life, <laughs> up close. Hard worker and a just a jovial spirit. I can't wait to meet him in person. Can't wait. Uh, uh, there was Zendo de Mello yeah, from Brazil, a music, music, yeah, he was a musician, multidisciplinary artist, musician, tattooist, uh, visual artist. I, he just had it going on. And also an instructor, a classical. His, his music became part of my theme and that was uh, him using cello and classical guitar. The piece is called Preludio. I play it quite often. It is a theme, uh, the new theme. And there will be a little uh, renaissance of that theme, actually, that's upcoming. So listen in for that. Uh, there is, yeah. So I'm coming, is it, well, as of today, it is May 3rd, date, date of recording. And I have an upcoming hiatus. Yes. So as this season closes, there will be a time of hiatus. I'm hoping it's not too long. I'm hoping I can resume as soon as possible. I can't uh, confirm at this date that how long it's going to be, but I can guesstimate it around a month or two max. Yeah, I do have a few entries that are in queue that I can post, but yeah, there will be a hiatus. I'm not wanting to, to take it, but I heard it's a good thing in between seasons to have a, a hiatus, so hopefully it's not too long. So hang in there with me. If you don't see me post something new, it's not like I've disappeared, uh, evaporated into the twilight zone or anything like that. It's just a, yeah, it's a time to reassess, reevaluate, and get back in the game right and looking forward to that podcasting as an art as a form of expression as a form of just connecting with other beautiful souls has been the most rewarding part of the journey for me and of course uh, when i say meeting persons new people creative persons from author stephanie parks and musical guest, John Makes Music. Uh, there was uh, Paul Osborne. Stephen J. Rubin was a film historian. We did the Bond episode together. So if you haven't heard that, Bond in the Bahamas, please go and take a listen. Uh, it's one, it, was, it was a fun episode. I learned a lot from him. He is just chock full of so much good detail about Bond and film in general. So check it out, please. And yeah, so in the meantime, I, I've been listening to a lot of different podcasts that have piqued my interest. I listen to tons of podcasts, so I know there are a lot of podcasts out there for you to enjoy and to support. But there have been three in particular over the last few months that I've been enjoying and learning from. The first is the Dana Buckler Show with host Dana Buckler and he is well he speaks mostly on film reviews and film and film history he calls himself a contemporary film uh, documentarian and yeah I, I love his reviews his voice he has a very commanding soothing voice and I, yeah so hopefully he'll be on the podcast next season who knows Another podcast of note is How to Podcast with Dave Campbell. And he, if you're interested in learning how to podcast, he breaks it right down. You know, he breaks it right down for you and teaches you all of the basics. He has a very extensive catalog of information. So if you wanted to check it out, I would advise you to do so. I've learned a lot from him. He's sponsored uh, the Journaling with PT podcast as well with buy me a coffee he bought me a couple coffees 
people well i put those teas because i don't really drink coffee coffee makes me crazy um so decaffeinated tea or tea without caffeine is perfect like chamomile or whatever one of my favorites but anyways how to podcast with dave campbell uh i've learned a great deal from him and then the last podcast that uh i wanted to address was the history of film with jacob Ascarius. i think it's pronounced Ascarius. please don't beat me up if it isn't pronounced that way if i'm botching it but yeah it, it looks like it should be pronounced that way but please correct me if i'm wrong mr jacob Ascarius. Uh, and he his podcast is about obviously about film history he goes he does deep dives into the editing and the history of editing and film and vaudeville and just how film started if that interests you his podcast episodes are pretty short so if you have a short attention span or you like to jump from one thing to the other i think would be perfect for you give it a listen and check it out yeah so i'm at the end i usually try to keep the updates anywhere between six to ten minutes i'm a little over but hopefully you don't you won't mind if you have show suggestions for next season i'd love to hear what they are you any critique any feedback you want to give contact me at journalingwithpt at gmail.com otherwise you can dm me on social media at journalingwithpt instagram and facebook okay thank you so much to everyone for continuing to support and to show some love oh last thing i wanted to say about the clarington east food bank i wanted to give a shout out to them and all they do for persons who are challenged with food insecurity the team of susan and tracy and so many other volunteers who give of their time of their energies with such generosity and it's a beautiful thing it is beautiful i've seen it up close what they do for the community in clarington newcastle here in ontario you guys rock you're the real mvps keep up all the great work and blessings to you all so we've come to the end of this update with pt i want to thank everyone for listening in all of you have taken the time to listen in and to support the podcast all the very best to you and as always continue to stay tuned more episodes to come more entries to come so listen in as we wind down season one of the journaling with pt podcast